Okay, uh, my diamonds, how are you? I hope that you uh, guys are feeling well. Today we're gonna talk about creating chart of accounts in QuickBooks 2015. As you are well aware of the previous video, we actually discussed how to create a company file. And then if you remember, actually there was like a long interview uh, there were a long set of questions that we answered that day so today it's, it's the right day we are in our second video now uh, we're gonna discuss the chart of accounts the chart of account option can be seen in the uh, list menu okay when you click on the list menu as you can see on the screens chart of account is the first option you got there click on the chart of account and then you get a, a detail now not this screen actually explains all of those or summarizes all of those accounts that actually you selected while creating a company file now here if you can see we have we start with the first column here that's that's the number column every account used in our chart of account has a unique identification number like as you can see 11,000 in row number one which is actually for the accounts receivable so the QuickBook actually automatically connect account receivables with 11,000 then if you can see another major column it's by the name of type this is an account receivable actually in the in this type column you you will actually go for the nature of accounts like you can see that there are uh, account receivable other current assets are there fixed assets are there other current liability equity cost of goods sold income expenses so in major concerns if you remember in the basic accounting you have actually these five accounts you have asset accounts inside asset then you have all these account receivables current liabilities other current liabilities long-term liabilities or you can say these fixed not liabilities sorry uh, current assets uh, other current assets non-current assets or you can use the word fixed assets for that then liability equity uh, expenses income revenues all these are the actually the five major accounts going to the next column we have the balance total here <clears throat> the balance total column actually represents the balance the ending balance of that account like if i l let's go for the building account which has a account number of fourteen thousand. it's a fixed asset and then it has a balance of fifty thousand dollars which represents that that's the the current book value of this asset then um, if you can see this this account number is replicated from here this and that okay so both of them are same this one is also account number and this one is also account number actually okay that's the uh, a small representation in case if you were going through all these chart of accounts and then you came to know that oh i there is there is one of a chart account that's missing and uh, sorry not chart of account there is one in account that's missing so what you're going to do for that is you will just go to the account button which you can see at the left bottom click on the account go on the new and here comes a, a what you say a dialog box it asks from you that okay which type of account you want to open here or create one are you gonna go for income or expense or a fixed asset bank loan credit card equity or maybe if what you want to create is not present in this list then you should go for your other account types okay let's suppose for time being i actually am willing to or i want to go for a fixed account because i don't have any uh, computer account there related to computers so i will click on the fixed accounts as you can see you can have these machines vehicles land building so my computer actually comes under the category of the machines here so i have clicked the fixed account i will click on the continue then another dialog box opens let's let's say i mistakenly clicked on fixed account so here again the quickbook give me an opportunity to correct my mistakes like as you can see those names which are present in my previous uh, screen again the same options has been given to me so if i have mm, i was mistaken for fixed account i can just fix my mistake and i can go for another option right now i'm not mistaken actually that was an intention selection fixed asset so that's okay now what I gonna give the account na name here I will give the name here I computer account or computers so I have some computers in my 
what you say in my business with me in my office with me then <clears throat> as you can see here uh, you have a number here at the right top area of the dialog box I have to give a unique identification number here now why by the time I want to give it if I want uh, what you say to give it a very logical number a number which makes sense so for that verification I have to go to my chart of accounts and there I can see that okay I have this fixed asset account it's 14,000 I have other two f asset accounts which is 15,000 and 17,000 and let's suppose that that's an equipment computer is an equipment for me so it's better for me if i can actually continue this 15000 and i can go little into depth of this one okay so what i will do i will cancel chart of accounts and i will give here just randomly 15000 and 1 okay so it means that 15000 is related to furniture and equipment 15001 is specifically related to computer do I want to make this computer as a sub account of something else in my case yes I want to go for it sub account sub account of what actually computer is an equipment it's a machinery or an equipment item I already have if you can see here uh, a furniture and equipment so if I I believe that these computers I have is the part of my equipment account so I can make it a sub account not a problem now description I can give description here according to my easiness if I want to give one like a description for computers can be that these computers are actually these Pentiums or they are this this generation or whatever I want to give here note for time being we will not touch note okay then uh, what's this text line mapping actually uh, some of the accounts we have uh, if if that looking into the nature of that one we had to deduct taxes on that okay so if a tax is deducted on that account where that tax gonna go now as we are sitting here we don't have any such taxes here like sales taxes specialized sales taxes and all these things so for time being we will take it as an unassigned one now do I want to give any inter opening balance to this one what does this mean opening balance actually means that right today when I actually create this computer account do I have some book value assigned to these computers in case if I say yeah for sure they have a value currently with me so I will go for an enter and opening balance and I will give it a balance so let's suppose the computers can all of these computers the accumulated book value of those computers I can say let's let's take it as like four thousand five hundred dollars now what's the date on which particular date we had this value let's take it as today today is the 29th of December 2016 so I have taken it like this 29th of uh, December 2016 so when I click OK automatically in my balance sheet and along with that in my chart of accounts you will see computer account one it will be a sub account of the equipment account and then it will have a balance of four thousand and five hundred dollars which means the computers which I have, which I own in my organization, they actually worth $4,500. Let me click on OK. That's it. And if I want to create another account and I want to save this one, so for that I had to click Save and New. If I say that, no, no, I, I just do not want to save it and I want to go back, click Cancel. Or if I say that, OK, I want to save this one and I don't need to create another account. So let me click on Save and Close. Now, save, save and close is done. Just for the purpose of verification or cross-check, I just want to check it. that Was it a successful entry or not? So, 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 yeah. You can see here, 15,001. One, it is a sub-account. Okay, computer is a sub-account of furniture and equipment. Then the type of the account is a fixed account. It worth currently $4,500. And again, if you remember, that's it. Uh, 5, 15,001 so that's how you create actually uh, a new account then I can bring changes modifications to this account by using edit option if let us suppose I came, I came to know that oh my god I actually missed to write something about this one or maybe I said that oh yeah I actually made a mistake here it it shouldn't be like 15,001 it should be like 15,100 or 10 or whatever the value I want to go for so time being it's 15,010 I have brought the modification save and close done
so you can see the modification has been brought here upgradation is there likewise if i want to delete this account i can just go on delete it will just say you cannot delete it because i have already created it and then if i do not need it anymore i can make it inactive right now i will not make it inactive then uh you have other options that we will see it in the next video so for time being take care and stay safe stay blessed too